Hey guys, welcome to this video and today by request I'm gonna be teaching how to play Nero My God to the and fingerstyle guitar. There is a fingerstyle arrangement for the song. It's not that hard. So let's get right into it. So for the finger picking basis of the song, your thumb will take care of the sixth, fifth and fourth strings and your index, middle and ring finger will take care of the first, second and third strings. Now if you are a beginner these picking rules might be quite hard because mostly these fingers are quite dead so you won't be able to use them that easily but I would suggest you learn this first you will be grateful afterwards once you have, once you have mastered this now just to mention you will see me using my index finger to pick the fourth string that's just because it is quite a bit easier, it's only when it's a root note that I use my thumb. But if you're a beginner, I would suggest just stick to the method I taught, I taught first. So chord wise, the song is pretty easy. We only have three chords. Firstly, we have a C chord, index finger on the first fret of the second string, middle finger on the second fret of the fourth, and ring finger on the third fret of the fifth string. Next we have an F chord, now I'm not going to be barring anything for this chord, I'm just going to be using the easier F over C transition, or F major 7 if you like that better. So for this F chord, from our C chord, our ring and index finger aren't going to move, we're just going to take our middle finger and place it on the 2nd fret of the 3rd string, pinky finger goes on the 3rd fret of the 4th string, and we're going to have to have a thumb over to that first fret of this of the sixth string and that'll be our F chord for this song so for the G chord I'm not going to be using our usual transition for the two fingers on this on the third frets of the first and second string and middle finger on the third fret of the sixth string I'm just in this song going to be using this transition which is quite easier from the C chord and so I'm just going to be using my pinky finger to hit the sec the third fret of the second string middle finger to hit the second fret of the fifth string and ring finger the third fret of the sixth string so you could and that will be our G chord for the song so you could leave the fifth string out because that also won't be necessary for the song so let's get right into the picking so we're gonna start by plucking the fifth and sixth strings together and I would suggest you do this with your thumb and either the ring or the middle finger then we're gonna pick the fourth string and then the third and then first again then we're going then we're going to take our, our pinky finger and place it on the third fret of the second string pick that along with the fourth string pick the fourth string lift that up pick the second string and then the fourth so from the beginning, slow speed. Then we're going to transition to our F chord. We're going to be picking the six, the six and second strings together. Now just something to note: um, each chord we're going to be transitioning to, we're going to be picking two strings at the same time. The first pluck, either for the C chord, the fifth, and whichever other string. G, I mean F or G, the 6 and whichever other string. So for the F chord, we're going to be picking the 2nd and 6th strings together. We're going to pick the 1st string, 4th string, and then we're going to be picking the 3rd string, and then along with the 6th string. So... Then we're going to pick the 5th, 4th, 5th again. total for that first bar for the C and the F so we're gonna transition back to our C chord and then we're gonna be picking the fifth and third strings together pick the fourth string third string fourth then we're gonna pick our fifth and second strings together pick the 4th string, so in order for that little first piece, 
first string, then the fourth, and then transition to our G chord. So it's just in total for that C chord. Then we're gonna transition to our G chord like this, pinky finger on the third fret of the second string, ring finger on the third fret of the sixth string, then we're gonna pick the sixth and second strings together, the fourth string, third, so we're gonna have this little run, we're gonna pick the second string, six on its own, we're gonna pick the fourth, third, and fourth again. So in total of that bar. And then we have uh, our chord progression loops again and it's quite the same. I think just a little variation at the end when we transitioning to the chorus so let's just play that all from the beginning and fifth strings together, pick the fourth string, pick the second and then the fourth again, and then we're going to transition to our G chord like this, basically a lazy G shape, G6 if you like, and we're going to be picking the sixth and second strings together, fourth string, and then we're going to have our little finger on the third fret of the second string, pick that, and then the fourth string again. So So we're gonna have so then we're gonna pick the fifth and second strings together when we transition back to our C chord. Pick the fourth string, the third string, and then the second again. And we're gonna pick the fifth again. Fourth, third, fourth. So it's a little complicated. And then here we get to, uh, I think we call this the chorus of this arrangement. And so the chords are a little bit different. We have a different transition of an F chord. Um, for this chorus, we only have the C chord, F and the G, basically. Okay, we have this F also. So, so let's just go back and repeat that little last section, I think from the F chord, to where we get to the chorus. Okay, let's start about the C. And then we get to our chorus, so we're gonna have a little transition on the C chord and we're gonna place our pinky finger on the 3rd fret of the 6th string and with that there we're gonna be picking the 1st and 5th strings together pick the 4th, 3rd, 4th I'm sorry, just the 5th and 1st together 4th, 3rd then we're going to have a slide with our pinky finger from the 3rd to the 5th fret and that will be our transition to the F chord so basically what you're doing, you're picking the string keep that pressure and slide it up so then we're going to place our ring finger on the 5th fret of the of the 3rd string our index finger will go on the 3rd fret of the 4th string our pinky finger stays here, also on the 5th fret of the 1st of the string. 
Now we're going to pick that. We're going to be picking the first, third, and fourth strings together at the same time. So then we're going to take this pinky finger off. And basically, with this finger, you could do it and just press it like this, or basically fire it like this with this part. So, with that picked, lift the pinky finger up, you have this on the third fret, this finger on the third fret of the first string, pick that, and then you have your C chord. So let's just take it from the beginning. Or you could just shift back as you're shifting to your C chord, bring that pinky finger back. Pick that. And then you have your C chord. So And then we're gonna be picking and have our C chord shape with this pinky finger here. We're gonna be picking these the first and fifth strings together. Pick the fourth string, then lift that up, pick the first string, and then we're gonna pick the third frets of the second and fifth strings together, and then so just for that little, and then we're gonna have a little run again, which is the fourth, third, fourth again. Basically, you're just going to repeat that same little part again, so it's quite the same. So instead of having that, this time, which is the last time, we're just going to go from our F chord. Once you've picked that open, we're going to transition to our G chord like this. So. So we're going to pick the 6th and 2nd strings together so After that we're going to have pick the 4th string, 3rd, 4th again And then, ok we're still in the chorus Let's just play that chorus part for the C and the F. Just get repeated twice with the G and then we'll learn the rest. And then we go back to our C chord, pick the first and fifth strings together. Third, first again. So basically, we've we've learned this before. I'm just quickly explaining this again. Have our pinky finger on the third fret of the second string, kind of like a C at nine. Pick that along with the fifth string, fourth string. Lift that up. We have it on the first fret. Pick the second. F chord, F major 7, same thing, we have learned this before in the verse. Sorry. So that is basically the same like when we are going to the chorus. Um, yeah, so you might have seen in the previous video, there were some tiny little transitions, which I made in the second verse. Um, but I don't think I'm going to teach that now, because I think it would be just easier to just stick to that. You could just play it for all the verses, because the original song, actually, all the verses are the same. So it would be easier to remember without those tiny little transitions, which I make in the next verse in the song. So I'm just gonna go ahead and play this in a slow speed and then yeah the verse and chorus.
So now I will be playing the song in its entirety and feel free to play this back as many times as you like to to practice. Play along to it and see how you go. Just but just one thing to mention. Okay, this all of this might be a lot to remember so and hard to do if you're a beginner, so I would suggest also practicing this on your own at a slower speed. Um so that you're not just running through everything and skipping parts that might happen but playing along with the original is also always a good idea so let's get into it If this was helpful and any questions please make sure to leave them please make sure to ask me and if there are any other songs you would like to see me do like this uh, do tutorials or anything please make sure to let me know I'll be more than happy to answer